More about the vaccine rollout in our area in just a moment. But first, I want to focus on the road to recovery in Maryland. The state is rolling back a lot of restrictions starting at 5 p.m. tomorrow. The biggest change, no capacity limits for places like bars and restaurants. But not all counties are following those guidelines. If you live in Montgomery County, you still don't know what's happening tomorrow. John Henry is covering that for us all new at 11. Montgomery County Executive Mark Elrich released a letter critical of Governor Larry Hogan's plans to lift capacity restrictions at bars, restaurants, gyms, and retail stores. On Hogan's decision, he said it almost felt as though spring fever clouded some good judgment and that he's not inclined to follow the guidance of the governor's newly appointed health advisor, Dr. Robert Redfield, a former President Trump CDC appointee. This is not the moment to abandon all caution. Elrich doesn't have the final say as to what happens in Montgomery. The county council will vote on what rules to enforce Friday at 1.30. But if the county turns down Hogan's proposal altogether, it would be an outlier in Maryland. All Maryland counties near D.C. besides Prince George's and Calvert have told us they plan to fully align with the state's guidance. Prince George's says it will take a measured approach to reopening Friday. Calvert has yet to get back to us. Still, some Montgomery businesses like Fire Station 1 in Silver Spring say the time is now to reopen fully. Montgomery County in particular has been a little bit hard on the restaurant industries in general. If they let us go 100%, I'm going to throw the biggest party in here and everyone's welcome. Not everyone agrees. Some Montgomery residents think Maryland's moving too fast. I think I'd feel more comfortable once more people had a chance to get the vaccine. Montgomery Council Member Will Jawando tweeted tonight he does not support Hogan's plans. Councilmember Hans Reimer said he wants some rollbacks, but not to the extent Hogan does. John Henry, WUSA 9.